It's very, very lightweight. Is it one face mask? Please. No. Is it foundation? Very light what it is. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special video because I managed to, I managed to get Yestel advent calendar. It's huge and heavy so I'll put it down. It was very hard to get because it was sold out like in less than one minute and I had to wake up at 3 a.m. on Monday but I was able to get it and it was waiting until we unbox it and I know it's December already but we'll unbox it anyways I'm very excited and it's so heavy it's so well made and yeah let's just unbox it and don't forget to use my code if you shop on YesStyle and let's start to unbox this baby. It's huge, it takes up like all the frame. And then we have two drawers here or one? Oh, okay, we have only two. And we will start unboxing. And this advent calendar is only full-sized products, which is amazing. And here is 24 days and i paid around 140 dollars for it because i used coupon code so let's just start unboxing so let's find the first number and oh it's here it's this cute guy and also it's boxes not those like cardboard where you need to push it's very well made so here is it Let's open it. <gasps> okay. I love this product. It's a um, cleansing balm from one of my favorite uh, skincare brands. So this is the balm. I love it so much. I have it already and I use it all the time. It's pretty affordable and it takes all the makeup very, very nicely. So the second day, the second day, where is the second day? Okay, maybe there is one more drawer because I don't see number two. Oh, okay, I found the number two. It's in this cute box and what do we get? Ooh, it is a lily by red blush i have it already it's in the number three it is a very very cute blush in this heart shape and it's very very beautiful i use it all the time it's so pretty and yeah it's just amazing cream blush and it costs around eight dollars i think so third number where is it oh it's huge I wonder what is in here. It's so big. So let's open it up. Oh, what's this? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Kahi. What is it? Kahi brand is an amazing brand that mostly is known for their sticks, um, stick balm with collagen that helps to keep skin hydrated on the go. And it was super viral and it was used in all the K-dramas but I don't recognize the packaging it's... let's open it and see what we found here was a Kahi stick but not your usual Kahi stick this is Kahi stick in their fillable case it's in the metal case and I hope there is a refill inside oh yeah there is so you just need to buy the refills and you don't need to buy the case anymore and here is my normal stick so it's plastic and it's not refillable it's a little bit bigger i'm very excited because i love this balm i also had the eye balm but i ran out and i threw it out but i'll pop the picture here it's an amazing balm on the go i always have it on hand so 
it's an amazing find and I think this is around $40, but I'm not sure, I will pop all the prices. So let's open number four. So far it's been super good because I love all the products. And number four is in here, is this thin package. And let's see what is in here. Oh, what is it? It's glittering eye stick. Oh, it's Twinkle Pop. Is it Clio? It's from Clio number 11. I don't have this, but I love Clio. And let's see. Oh, and the shade. Oh, is this very, very nice. Like pinky glitter. Very, very beautiful. And number five is here. And what is it? What is it? Let's open it up. Oh, it's from Beauty of Joseon. It's a calming serum. I had this serum before and it's very, very nice. I'm super excited to find it because my ran out. This one is one of the best ones from their range. The one with snail is nice. Mostly all of them are nice, but this one is calming. I really like it. It really calms the redness. So I'm very excited to have it again. And I don't know why they made it so hard to get this calendar. For the reviews, I think I saw, because on YesStyle you can write reviews, and it was around 130 reviews. And usually people write reviews because they uh, get points that they can deduct for products. And yeah, I think they did around like 150 calendars. But yeah, I hope next year there will be more calendars because it's super hard to get. And they put it on sale at night when everyone is sleeping. It's very stressful and very hard to get. But yeah, I hope next year everyone who wants it can get it. But I tried to get it last year and the year before and it's very hard, I couldn't get it. So I'm glad this year I snatched it up. And let's open number six. On here, I think it's like a mascara, but those spoilers never were nice spoilers. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's Romand. Han All Brow Fixer. I don't have this. I wanted to get it, but I think this one was sold out. I think it's clear one. I'm super, super excited because I don't have any brow gel right now. And I love Roman products, so... And all the products that we'll find today, we'll try in future videos, so subscribe. Number seven. Oh, it's huge. And actually on this number, I think it's Kahistic, but... We already found it, so let's see what's inside. Oh, I know this. This is this is some by me eye cream with retinol. I recently got it and it's very nice, but you have to be careful with retinol. But this one is very nice and soft. It didn't irritate my skin or anything. I really liked it. And yeah. Some by me overall is an amazing brand that I love and use almost every day. And yeah, you have full-sized eye cream that will last for a very long time because you have 30 ml in here. And next we have number what was seven eight. Oh here. I think I know what the spoiler is, but it's not for this number. And what we have here? Oh, it's mascara. So before we had like a spoiler for mascara and now we are having a mascara. It's from Etude. So in the past they were Etude House. I have a few products, but I don't have this product. And this is a mascara, Fix Black Mascara. So the volume and curling mascara in black. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting because usually the brushes are with smaller 
um, like the wand is smaller but this one is quite big and fluffy usually they are less fluffy than this but yeah doesn't smell like anything just smells like a mascara i'm very excited to try it right now my favorite one is the one i showed in a previous video but yeah we'll try the etude one in future ones and number nine oh it's huge one oh, look how big it is what is in here i don't know what's in here uh i am vegan oh it's hard hard it's a hand cream from frudia the packaging is so different so i was like what is it i have very nice cream from them uh, for the face brighten cream but i never tried their hand cream so let's open it up and it's vegan hand cream for deep moisture and here it is oh it looks a little bit like sunscreen and does it smell like anything i never had korean hand creams so let's see mm. it smells a little bit like citrus mm, very nice so it was number nine, number ten. Oh, and here you have a spoiler as well for the serum, but we already found it. So let's see what's inside. Oh, it's McQueen. What is this? Is it what? Oh my God, I think I already have this. Yes, it's what I thought it is. It's contour powder, but why I don't really like it too much because it's very intense and you can make it splotchy a little bit on your face. But I think I will give it to somebody. And this shade, I think is darker than my one. I will need to check on swatches and you will see it but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit darker. I think for ones that don't have it, it's very nice find, but with this one you have to be careful because it's very, very pigmented, because usually they are not very pigmented, but this one is very, very pigmented. If you like pigmented contour, it will wait for you. Then number 11, what is it? Let's open it up. Oh, it's sunscreen from Ionique. It's Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen. I have like 10 of those already. They are so, so good. I overall love this line. I will link the video about this line here, but it's SPF 50. I love this sunscreen. It's very, very nice, very lightweight texture. And yeah, it protects super, super well. I'm very excited and yeah. For winter, maybe for somebody it will not be very relevant, but it is good for until 2026, so we'll have plenty of time to use it. Where is number 12? Oh, it's a small one. Let's open it up. It's so fun opening those boxes. Christmas in one day for me. Oh, it's Amuse Dew Tint. Let's see what the shade is. I have a few Amuse Lip Tints, but I think I have matte one and this one is glossy one. I'm very excited because I love Amuse Tints. Very, very beautiful shade. That's amazing find because Amuse Lip Tints, first of all, are very expensive, but also just amazing and number 13 is it lucky or unlucky number let's see oh it's heavy har har wonder i also had oh i never tried this it's black rice hyaluronic essence but i have a video about their skincare i'll link it here as well 
I think it's in something new because I never saw it before. It's Black Rice Hyaluronic Essence. It comes in a glass bottle and let's see the texture. It smells like all of their products. It's kind of hard to explain the scent. I think it smells like some herbs. That's the best I can describe it. Do we have any description? Is pure blend of naturally fermented black rice and bamboo shoot bark extract. Provides boost of antioxidants, nourishment for daily face protection. That's very nice. I'm very excited to try. Then number 14, where is it? 14, 14. And number 18 is so big. Where is where is 14? Oh, okay. It's in here. What is in here? Oh, it's wake make stay fixed packed. Is it foundation? Very nice packaging. Oh, it's powder. I wanted to try this powder for so long and now I found it here. That's so nice. And the design is so cute. All of this is plasticky, but it looks very, very luxe. And I'm very excited to try it because I wanted to try it for a long time, as I said. And it's very hard to find a good powder. So yeah. And Wake Make is a nice brand. I have a few products. I have a highlighter that is not very highlighty, but I also have concealers that I really like. So, and number 15. No spoilers on it, but it's very heavy. I think it should be a cream, but I'm not sure if even we will have cream. Oh, I know what it is, but I haven't tried it yet. So it's from Petit Fee, uh, their new hydrogel eye masks. And these are the new ones. I love their mm, eye masks. Like I tried almost all of them. They are kind of stripy. And these are two-tone hydrogel mask, shea butter, blueberry fruit extract, recharging and nourishing. It also has adenosine and retinol palmitate. No idea what's retinol, so it's not retinol, it's retinol. I guess it's like alternative to retinol. Hydrogel eye mask to revitalize tired skin around eyes with rich nutrients. We'll try it in some other video, I'm very excited. Number 16, it's this long one, it's very very light. I'm glad in this calendar there is no samples, because in other advent calendars in those light boxes you usually get some sample, like two mil. So let's open and see. Hmm, something very small and white. What is this? It's from Holika Holika. So this is this very, very beautiful rose tinted liner. I think it's for double eyelid. So I don't know how I will be using it. But let's see, it's very cute, nice and pink. And number 17. Number 17, where is it? Oh, it's here. No spoilers on this one, but it's very heavy. And number 18 is so big. I hope it's not like one face mask. Oh, it's Cosarex. What is this? Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. I haven't tried this. I think it's their newer line, but from Cosarex, I love their snail products and I haven't used anything else. It's amino acids and ceramide and P hydrating and retaining moisture hyaluronic acid. Let's just try it a little bit. No scent and First it was a little bit thick, but it blends out very nicely and it's very, very lightweight. I hope it's really moisturizing, but the packaging is very nice, glass bottle and this is soft touch. So another serum and number 18 is super big, so let's open it up. It's very lightweight. 
I'm scared. It's very, very lightweight. Is it one face mask? Please? No. Peach sea. What is it? I love peach sea, but what is this? It's brushes. <laughs> I need to read better. I read tinted brow set. I was like, I'm not trying to tint my brows. What is a brush set? Oh, and the brushes. The brushes are nice. Let's open it up. Oh, the brushes are very soft. Yeah, it's a very nice addition to my collection. And they don't smell. Some brushes smell very bad. Very nice. And you have a pouch, which I will probably not be using, but it's a very, very nice set. Number 19. What is in here? And by the way, this one, I thought it's the Sambay Me one, but it was actually the Cosarex one. So, let's see. It's... Oh, dear Claire's! I never tried anything from them. It's a rich, moist foaming cleanser. Oh, nice! I need a good cleanser. Because a lot of cleansers break me out. And it's very hard to find a nice one. Oh, nice! It's a ceramide and pea. Sodium hyaluronate, deep moisturizing, clean and soothe. Full-sized foaming cleanser. Let's try it out. The foam is very, very soft. Mm. The smell? I don't like the smell. It smells like herbs, but very strong herbs. I don't know if I like this, but I hope it will not irritate my skin. Let's see. I'll update you in future videos. Number 20. And let's see. Here you have a spoiler for those patches. Here we have Peripera Rosy Nude set where you have a lip liner and lipstick and I need to see if this is the same that I have because then I will not open it in the same one that I have so I will show you mine here you have a set of lipstick and lip pencil so like Kylie lip kit but a little cheaper and those shades I love and their lip tints they have such a nice formula. They are very nice, not drying on the lips at all. I got a lot of those lip tints. I will show them in a future videos, but I don't believe they have too many of those lip pencils. I think they come only as a set. And we are almost done. I don't want to do this, but number 21. And it's pretty heavy. Oh, it's PHA Glow Peel. I never tried this brand. I have, I think, one cream that I got, but I haven't tried it yet. It's PHA 10% Papaya Fruit Extract, Cucumber Fruit Extract. Ah, okay. I, I haven't tried anything like that. So it's a peel that is like a mask. After applying... After applying... <laughs> After cleansing, apply a thick, even layer on clean, dry skin. Rinse with lukewarm water after 10-15 minutes. So in those products, you have to be careful to not overuse them. I need to look up how to <laughs> properly use it because I'm now using HABHA from Some By Me. So I don't know, are they friends? I will try it where <laughs> let's try it on the hand it's like a jelly and it smells 
I don't know. <laughs> it smells a little bit chemically, but it has nice ingredients. And the hmm, no, it doesn't smell. Maybe does it have alcohol? No, it doesn't have alcohol, but the first smell was kind of strong. Anyways, then number 22 and we are almost, almost there. Almost Christmas day. Very light what it is. Ah, it's art class pencil from... Too cool for school. I have so many products from them. I love them. So that's very, very exciting. And here you have very, very beautiful champagne shade. So I will definitely use that. Mm, so the shade is number one, shining linen. So it's just wooden pencil. And yeah, very nice. I don't know if you use it as an eyeshadow or like how you use it. Nice, I haven't tried this yet, so. And number 23. Number 23, where is it? Oh, in here. We are almost, almost at Christmas day. And here we have beauty hotel. But what is inside? Very, very heavy. It's a night cream, we found a cream. Yay, I just love creams. I use them up the most and from Mizon I have a few products it's a night cream highly concentrated nourishing vegan formula night cream for tightening the skin firming lightening nourishing and you know we haven't found any palettes yet and we have only one number so let's see oh very very nice packaging but it's I think it's plastic let's smell it it doesn't smell like anything, it's pretty thick. Let's try it a little bit. Very nice kind of gel cream, but it's pretty thick. And we have a last number, 24. It's very, very big. Last year it was Peri Peri palette, or it was the year before. I wonder if we'll have a palette or no, but it's pretty light. Yes, we have a palette, it's it's Unleash a palette and it's in a new design because I already have this and it's so thin, mine is super thick. And let's see if they changed anything. So this is how it looks inside and I need to compare to my one, but I think they changed it a little bit. I'm pretty sure, but you'll see the swatches, so. I think a few shades are changed, but I'm not sure. Let me grab my palette and see. So this is my palette and it's a little bit thicker than this one. And it has a little bit different design. I actually like the design of the old one much better. And let's see the shades. Mine is a little bit up, but let's compare. Okay, I think they are the same. This palette is an amazing palette from all the glitter palettes. I would pick this one because it has softer glitters than other ones. Of course, it has a few very chunky ones, but all of the glitter palettes are with glitter. But this one is the most like usable for every day. And it's so shiny, so beautiful. You will see the swatches. I'm obsessed with it and if I had to recommend one glitter palette it would be this one. I think for somebody that doesn't have it, it will be very very nice find. So that's the end of our advent calendar. I think the Christmas day is not disappointing, it's incredible. And we found a ton of different products that I will be using and reviewing in the future. The most exciting one is probably the Cahistic because first of all it's like one third of the advent calendar is this stick so it's an amazing price for all of the products and yeah i think the promised value was uh, 500 so i will put the price that i counted here and we will see if their promise is in here or it's a little less but i think it's 
definitely over hundred and fifty dollars and yeah hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful i hope next year everyone who wants to get it will get it but it's usually very very hard i think they are doing it in marketing purposes because for example other advent calendars i think this year they sold very very mm. for example stylevana also did an advent calendar i think it was a little bit more expensive but it was on the website like for a very long time and this sold out less than a minute it's very hard to get so i think they know what they are doing but i wish everyone next year can get their hands on the advent calendar and yeah and use my code if you shop on yes and see you in the next one bye